Hey you guys, how's it hanging? <laughs> Get it? Cause I'm like, hang. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Danielle. It's very nice to meet you. Subscribe down below. Press that little red button. Or is it yellow? No, it's red. Why would I say it's yellow? That was literally 10 years ago. Speaking of 10 years ago, I'm going to be going through my closet at my dad's house. I saw someone like commented on my TikTok or something saying that dad's house's closets are like time capsules because you know you bring clothes over but i feel like your true closet's usually at your mom's house i don't know do any of you guys feel that i don't really know last night i was just like bored and my dad and brother were asleep and so i went in my closet here oh my god you guys it was a blast from the past the things i started to find in there were just crazy like i had such a preppy phase back in like high school and like kind of like late middle school and a lot of you guys found me on youtube because of those videos like the preppy youtube and then some of you guys are obviously new but it was just so funny and then i also had this little like not hipster phase but like the phase where you wear like the steve madden combat boots and like oh my goodness so i like went through a couple things i made a tiktok go follow me on tiktok right now danielle underscore carolyn i've been really on my tiktok growing lately and so i have like a sneak peek of like what's my closet on there but i was like let me stop and make a video about this because i just feel like i'm gonna find so many more things i'm gonna try some things on just kind of like relive old memories and i feel like this is really gonna be nostalgic for you guys because like some of the stuff just hits different. Like it's, I just like can't believe I, 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 I'm gonna have to clean out my closet after this, but I wanted to make this video so I can like have it to remember, you know? Anyways, we are just going to head in the closet and just get after it because it is going to be funny. It's unorganized, but there is just so much stuff in there that I just, oh my God. All right, so here we go. First off, these are just a staple in everybody's wardrobe. I mean, oh my God, like, do you guys like remember how like popular? Honestly, these would look kind of cute with my outfit. Like maybe I should bring them back. But I will never forget Beauty Baby 44. Now Lindsay Hughes would post about them, and she like got them for Christmas one year, and I was like, I need to have them. And then like every like beauty YouTuber had them like literally ever, and I needed them so bad. And then I had the plain black ones. So then I would watch like the DIYs on how to stud your own combat boots, like. Really nice quality too. These are the Steve Madden like studded combat boots and I would wear them all the time. They were so freaking cool. And I really, I just feel like these would actually be really cool with my outfit right now. I'm not wearing socks, don't tell anybody. Okay, I mean like, I mean not trying to flex or anything, but these are kind of cool. Oh gosh, I don't think I ever wore these shoes. I did not see these last night. I've just gotten to this phase in my life where I will not wear heels unless they are comfortable. Like I will not. Like I pretty much only wear like platforms or flat forms or wedges. I guess these are wedges, but I mean, who did I think I was? Like I was literally 14. You guys, this was my first ever, I'm pretty sure this was my first ever purchase from Abercrombie because their stuff didn't fit me because I went to an Abercrombie and Fitch. I'll never forget. That was my first Abercrombie store. And the mall I was at didn't have Abercrombie kids. So everything was like literally too big for me. And I was like really sad because I wanted to be like a cool kid. And so I remember my dad bought me this Abercrombie tote bag and I felt so cool. I would bring it to the beach or if I like went to a friend's house, I'd put, I don't really know what I would do with it, but this was like, you were cool if you had like an Abercrombie bag or like, I know some people said they had like an Aeropostale bag or Hollister bag. Like I remember I literally saved the bag, like the shopping bag that I got this in because I was like, this is cool. Oh, I have so many memories with this bag actually. This scared me last night when I found it. Guys, can we take... <laughs> This isn't even life size. This is bigger than life size. I'm pretty sure I had this hanging up in here. Um, yeah, I used to be, I mean, I still am, but I used to be a huge believer, like big Justin Bieber fan. If you guys didn't know, I was in Never Say Never Director's Cut Edition. I was mouthing the words to That Should Be Me for like three seconds. Props to you guys if you find me in the video because I literally look so different, but yeah. Um, Prior to this poster, I had a cardboard cutout of Justin Bieber actually, so, oh, oh, it's it's signed on the bottom. <laughs> this is like heavy. Now we're just gonna get into the really ugly preppy clothing. I'm not saying all preppy style is ugly, but there's just some of my choices were bad. Like I still love some of the preppy style. Like I love the preppy style on guys like still to this day, and I like some preppy girl stuff. 
this shirt it's from forever 21 it's got little like keyholes in it like this like i was wearing this at age 14 or 15 when i should have been like just wearing way more youthful stuff. So if you didn't know, my high school required you to wear a collared shirt to school every day. So I would get very creative with it. However, I loved that you had to wear collared shirts every day because it went with my style. And so yeah, I would wear collared shirts on the weekend. Um, I think this was one of my weekend shirts because we weren't allowed to wear sleeveless shirts to school if they were collared. So I think this was like a weekender. Like I literally would wear this shirt. So it's got sailboats on it. <laughs> the j crew chino shorts you guys remember those i'll try to like insert some photos here and there but oh it's a little high low situation party in the back but yeah i loved this and what i would do for school was i'd wear this under like a sweater and then have like the collar pop out you know and like a big j crew statement necklace i think i gave away all my bubble necklaces so unfortunately those will not be in this video oh my god I just okay this this is a shirt from J crew however it is from crew cuts which is the kids store and I remember it was like a thing among the preppy bloggers sometimes they sell like the J crew shirts that you really like on the kids store for cheaper and like if you fit into them like might as well get them and sometimes if they're sold out at J crew you can find them at crew cuts so I remember I thought it was so cool for like finding this like dope shirt and like these were so in, you would like wear these with your chino shorts and your like Michael Kors watch and some sandals and it was like such a thing. But like this literally, this literally is a child shirt. Like Danielle, the strike of the chevron. I mean, we all know chev like this was, I probably wore this dress to Thanksgiving one year. I probably thought I looked super fly. And you know what, like to say about all this, like I really don't, I really don't regret my past <laughs> i don't regret what i dress like, like at the time like honestly like the preppy phase of my life was some of the happiest times of my life for like so many reasons but also i just loved dressing up i loved the outfits like and i always felt super good in them so i don't regret it at all but it is just so funny looking back and like the high low dresses like wow this dress was like the staple in every girl's closet at one point i feel like at least among all of my friends like I had this chevron dress and then I also had a black and white one that was like these chevron dresses, these long sleeve ones you would wear with like some sort of bubble necklace or like your J. Crew rose necklace, you guys know what I'm talking about, and then Jack Rogers and it was like your, your outfit. There used to be this quote called, if it doesn't move, monogram it, and I took that to heart. I had everything monogrammed. Anything I could monogram, I would. And it was also cool because like I got to work with companies that would like send me like an ample amount of monogram stuff. So I didn't like purchase all that. I, don't, I think that would have been too much, but I definitely accepted it. Anyways, I think this is one of the things someone sent me, but like I was really excited about it. It is a collared monogram shirt. It included all the things. It's seersucker. Well, it's not seersucker material, but it's like the print. And then it's got my monogram DCM. I do love my monogram. Danielle, Marie, Carolyn. If you guys didn't know your monogram, your last name's in the middle. And then it's colored shirt, so I would, could wear it to school. And it was like a thing. Like, I remember I'd wear it, and people were like, oh my god, Danielle, love your shirt. Like, it's monogram. Like, it, I wasn't the only one, okay? I was trying to impress my peers. I still like some monogram things. Like, I still get some things monogrammed, and like, my phone case has my initials on it. But like, you know, like, monogram. I don't really do this anymore, per se. Oh boy. The bedazzled collar. Another staple. I would, you know, this is one of my weekend shirts. So I would wear this, I remember, with like high-waisted black pants and my combat boots that I showed you guys. That was definitely a big outfit for me. And then also what I would do is, for school purposes, I would wear a sweater over this or some sort of shirt and then have like the little collar. Or, you know, you'd button it all the way to the top. So it was like super, super prep master. Do we remember spirit jerseys? Because I do. Oh my gosh. Like... I remember when spirit jerseys came out, I wanted to be in a sorority so bad because I remember Sarah Bell, we all know Sarah Bell 93X, um, a very good friend of mine, posted like her Kappa Delta spirit jersey and I remember being like, I wanna be in a sorority so I can get a spirit jersey for my sorority. So anytime I'd travel anywhere, I'd see if they had spirit jerseys. So I went to the Hamptons with my aunt. Um, honestly, I like this one. This one's cute, it says Southampton, like 
but these were such a thing. Like I had one from my camp. I went to Camp Hollymont. So it said like Camp Hollymont. And really honestly, these are cute. It's just like spirit jerseys were definitely a thing for a certain period of time. Like anywhere you traveled, I had a Washington DC one. Oh my goodness. So many more collared shirts. I remember I loved this one up until like senior year even. I don't know why. I just really liked it because it was short sleeve and it's like hot in Florida and our hallways were outside. This one's from J. Crow. Um, I just thought this one was very classic. Oh, I wore this one a lot. I specifically, I think in a video, one of my old YouTube videos, I was wearing this green gingham collared shirt from J. Crew with my red rose J. Crew necklace. Like I'm almost positive. Um, if not in a video, definitely in person with like chino shorts. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Jack Rogers. So in my TikTok, I posted about these and people were like, I still wear them, so I'm really sorry. But these just like bring me back to a certain point in my life. I just can't go back. Um, these are purple ones and I remember I bought them because they were on sale and I was like, I need Jack Rogers, but like they're so expensive. So I bought these and like, I don't wear anything purple and these just like didn't make any sort of sense in my life <laughs> at all. But yeah, these were definitely, I had a pair of the, um, like platinum color and honestly I'd still wear those to this, this day. Those were like kind of cute. This is such a rose towards myself and honestly these aren't that ugly. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Nike Roshis were a thing? Like the Roshi run sneakers? Well I got Lily Pulitzer customized ones. Pretty sure from like an Instagram or Etsy shop. But like am I alright? <laughs> I think this is the lobster roll print. Honestly, love that print. Lily Pulitzer just brings me back. I love Lily Pulitzer. But, like, did I have to, like, get them customized sneakers? I, I don't think so. Um, but, yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Here is just a perfect example of anything that didn't move I monogrammed. <laughs> I didn't even know these existed. Like, I kind of remember them. These are literally, oh, they're from Marley Lily. Marley Lily was like the OG where I'd get like all of my monogram stuff and Memento. They're basically like knockoff Jack Rogers with my monogram on them. They're gold though. I mean, they're cute, but like, oh my God, that's hilarious. Hello. Cheers. I'm going through my closet. These are, do you remember when I was preppy? Oh yeah, you're big prep. Big prep. Oh, well, I have these platform Converse, but they're not even all, they're Mac stars. And they don't fit me anymore, but these are kind of cool. Like I'd wear these now. I used to always wear basketball shorts. Was that just me? Did you guys like before Nike shorts were a thing? Or like Nike shorts were just not a thing for me until like, like I went to like sleepaway camp and everyone was wearing those and I was always wearing basketball shorts. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I would wear basketball shorts so much. Wonder if I could like make these a thing now, you know, like roll them up with like a crop top. Oh boy, here we get into the Victoria's Secret pink. These were my first sweatpants from Victoria's Secret. Thought I was really, really cool. Speaking of Victoria's Secret, if you did not have Victoria's Secret yoga pants, like you were not cool. Not actually, take this all with like grain of salt, please. But I remember I, <laughs> this wasn't my first pair. My first pair was like a leopard print, like colored leopard and I don't know where it is. But this was my second pair of Chevron. Chevron strikes again. And then it's like bedazzled. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I was talking about chino shorts, this is so much fun. These are the chino shorts I would wear. So these are definitely the ones, yeah. These are the ones from J. Crew Factory because they're like thinner. And then the ones from actual J. Crew were thicker, I found. Um, these are also from J. Crew Factory. But yeah, these are the chino shorts. And I loved them because they were modest, you know. Um, <laughs> And you would wear your colored chino shorts with some fun top and your arm candy and your Jack Rogers and you were good to go. This fun little chain bag. Personalized from me to you, spirit jersey. This is like a random monogram shop. Oh, and then this is the one from my camp. Camp Hollywood. Oh my gosh. And then these t-shirts were so big. Bow hard to go home bow tie. I thought like this was so cool. Oh my gosh, my triangle bathing suit. All right, also, I want to look in some drawers because who knows what could be in these. The original vlog camera. <laughs> guys, the flip camera. Do you guys remember this? Oh my gosh. I was just born to vlog. Like, I wanted this when I was so young. These were so cool. You could, like, vlog and then you can see it. Oh my gosh. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I honestly had so much fun doing this. I was kind of debating because I know it's like a random video to make, but like you guys reacted so well to the TikTok and I was like, I want to go through more of my closet and I wanted you guys to join. So I'm trying to do more fun new content instead of just vlogs all the time, even though there will still be vlogs all the time. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And seriously, thank you guys to who have been subscribed to me since those days. Like, I don't know why you watched me, but at the same time, I think we were all kind of in that phase together. So I love growing with you guys and just like going through life so I love you guys you know in 10 years from now I'll look back on like what I'm wearing right now like sweatpants and a crop top like who is she <laughs> anyways I love you guys and I will see you guys for my next video bye, -bye.